Hey everybody, really, really quick video this week. Um, I realize that a lot of us are working from home, a lot of us are working remotely, and I have been sharing a ton of resources on Twitter and on Yammer specifically with many of the teachers in my district uh, and for many of the students who may be watching this. And I realized that one of the challenges or something that we might need to know is how to import custom worlds. So a lot of people have been sharing worlds with projects that students can do from home, really amazing experiences. So I really quickly want to show you how to get those projects into your Minecraft uh, Education Edition platform so that you can explore those worlds, you can build in those worlds, uh, and you can have a lot of fun with it. So let's get started real quick. So I am in Minecraft Education Edition, and I've got it open already. I'm logged in and ready. Uh, I'm going to jump over, though, to Google Chrome, and I want to go to this website. So this is bbtnb.com, and this is the website of the amazing Ben Kelly. If you don't know who Ben Kelly is, and I've got his Twitter page open here too, you really should give him a follow. Uh, he is an incredible, incredible educator out of Canada. Obviously, as you can see from the photos here, he has won awards from the prime minister. Uh, he works with Minecraft Education Edition. He is a Minecraft education mentor and just an incredible guy uh, who creates some really, really fantastic resources that you can use, including the ones I'm going to share right now, just as the example that I give, but I figure I'd give him a shout out. So if I'm on his website, and here's his website, and I come over to Minecraft EDU, one of the things he's created is right here is this Mars pack. And in the Mars pack, what he's got is some scientifically accurate landscapes uh, of the Martian surface. And you can see there's a bunch of them to choose from right here. And all of them are free and available to download. They're all .mc world files. Uh, so I can literally just go right over here to the file, click it, and download it. Now I've already downloaded a few of these just to do an example today, but I've got them here in my folder. So what I want to show you now is how to get that world into your game. All right, so I'm just going to cancel this because I don't want to save it twice. And I'm going to jump back over to Minecraft Education Edition. And here I am on the main screen. And I'm going to hit play. And you'll notice the button on the bottom right over here says import. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to import this world into our game. So I'm going to click import. And I've got my folder open here. And these are two of those Martian landscapes that I've got right here from his website. So I'm going to click one of those. Uh, for example, this one right here looks good. Actually, yeah, that'll work. Okay, and uh, I'm going to click open. And you'll notice immediately it's importing that world. Level import finished successfully. I've got that world. It is now in my world. I've done this one twice, actually, as it turns out. But you can see right here, I've got that world, which means oh, I can go in and just go ahead and hit play on that one. And we'll let that one boot up. And I've got the access to that world completely. Here I am on the Martian surface, and boy, did these look great. Uh, did a fantastic job here, Ben Kelly. These are fantastic. Uh, so there's several to choose from. These are really phenomenal. Uh, I highly recommend you check them out. There's a lot you can do with this. And he's got tons more resources on his website that I highly recommend, including some fantastic uh, sustainable development goal challenges, which I will be posting about later. So check these out. That's how you can import worlds into your Minecraft Education Edition game. And thank you so much for tuning in.